Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to CADEX TV. A very strong tornado ripped through northern Germany last night. It particularly uh, blasted a town uh, near Rostock called Butso, in which uh, cars were hurled about 230 feet, roofs were blown off buildings, uh, one man was killed. Uh, German media is reporting wind speeds of about uh, 75 miles per hour in a city north of Aachen. Uh, this particular town uh, that was uh, struck, Butzau, is uh, some distance away from Aachen, so the wind speeds were presumably higher. You would need a higher wind speed than 74 miles an hour to move a car 230 feet. Uh, the mayor of the town said this morning that uh, after the sun came up, they saw that massive damage had been done. Uh, in the port of Hamburg, the wind was strong enough that five large container ships broke loose from their moorings, some of them colliding. Tugs were then sent out to bring the container ships back to the uh, docks. Arab media outlets are reporting today that uh, the Israeli Air Force has launched a series of pre-dawn raids on Khartoum in the Sudan. Um, the Sudan Khartoum, in fact, is 1,162 miles from Tel Aviv, so that's about a 2,400-mile round trip. Uh, military sources in Sudan are saying that the explosions are caused by a uh, military attack carried out by a foreign entity. Apparently, uh, there was a weapons storage facility uh, that was uh, making long-range missiles advanced weaponry, including long-range missiles, that the Israeli Air Force attacked last night. Uh, Anti-aircraft fire was heard, but uh, no plane was shot down. The Israeli military and Israel do not comment on such matters, and no comment was uh, forthcoming, either confirming or denying its involvement. The big French reinsurer score posted a very strong set of results in their first quarter of 2015, with a jump in profits and growth. Uh, their profit jumped about 30 percent to 175 million euros in the first quarter of 2015 compared with 135 million euros in the first quarter of 2014. Growth was seen on all fronts, property casualty and life reinsurance. Our congratulations to Denise Kessler, the uh, CEO and chairman of SCORE. It's good, uh, good news for them. News is coming out now that the co-pilot of the German Wings plane that crashed in the Alps um, apparently appeared to practice controlled descents on the uh, flight from Dusseldorf to Barcelona. Uh, you'll recall that the plane crashed flying from Barcelona to Dusseldorf on the return trip back to Germany, but on the outgoing trip, the uh, co-pilot, Andreas Lubitz, set the plane into descent mode five times. He was able to do this because the captain, once again, uh, for four and a half minutes, left the cockpit, apparently, to go to the restroom. Uh, during the four and a half minutes, the captain was out. Lubitz set the, co uh, the autopilot uh, to descend to 100 feet. He did this uh, five times in the four and a half minutes. Apparently, the plane's movements were imperceptible enough that neither the uh, remaining uh, crew or the passengers noticed anything wrong. This is all coming from uh, uh, telemetrics that are being uh, retrieved from the black box. Fairfax Insurance, the big holding company up in Toronto, is going to buy a 35% stake in the Vietnamese insurer BIDV Insurance Corporation. Uh, this will be Fairfax's first entree into the Vietnamese market. The company said it will be a, a strategic partner for the Vietnamese insurer, providing technical assistance in underwriting and risk management. And the United States has authorized commercial ferry services from Florida to Cuba for the first time in more than 50 years. The news is hailed by ferry operators as a historic event. Um, air charter services have already begun. JetBlue from Kennedy Airport is running air charters now down to Havana. The ferries will be allowed to carry cargo to the communist island of 11 million people, which sits just 90 miles off the southern tip of Florida. Four companies, four ferry companies, confirmed that they had received licenses from the U.S. Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control to provide the ferry travel. Apparently, uh, the uh, first trip will still be sometime in the future because other permissions are still needed from authorities in both countries. That will really be something. Things change, don't they? 
That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.